yep, it's time. It's time. We are finally going to address this game after so many years of putting it off. I think it's finally time. Hey guys, welcome back to the Nintendo Super Power Club Challenge channel. Once again, this is Bill, your host as always. Today, we are looking at arguably... Nah, 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 nah. This is definitely the toughest challenge in the entire collection, in my honest opinion. That's Super Smash TV on the Super NES. This is card number 20 in the collection. So Super Smash TV, for the uninitiated who have never played or heard of this game, it is basically a top-down twin-stick shooter where you go around in a single screen killing a whole bunch of enemies and bad guys and random robots and enemies in a game show-like environment in a studio. You're collecting lots of rewards and prizes and cash and just trying to rack up a high score. It is the classic definition of a score video game, one of my all-time favorites even to this day. Nowadays, the modern equivalent of it would be a game called Dead Ops Arcade. There have been three different iterations of it throughout the years on the uh, Call of Duty Black Ops series. But I'm getting a little off track and digressing, so let's get back into this game here. And let's look at the challenge and let's see why it's so tough and why I put it off all this time. Okay, we've got quite a bit to discuss here. This is not going to be over in one minute like it usually is here. Let's get to the challenge. States, try to beat Scarface using only your normal gun in one life. Yeah, anyone who has ever played this game, you know that that is absolute nonsense the moment it came out of my mouth. So let's look at this again. Scarface, normal gun, one life. What does that entail? Well, it involves fantasy and fairy tale, first of all, because it's virtually impossible, if not impossible. We'll get more to that in just a minute. As far as what actually has to happen here, a lot of people think this is impossible in the first place. Up until just recently, it was discovered that you can, in fact, beat Scarface both forms with your normal gun. It just takes an obscenely long time without the special weapons like the grenade launcher and the lobber and the missile launcher and you know, all those great things, right? It can be done, but the problem is, as I'm sure you probably know, the more you shoot this boss, the shields go down and he becomes more and more aggressive and will chase you more aggressively. So that's one problem. The second one is that he's very fast, and unless you get the turbo speed boots, you are almost undoubtedly going to get run down by him, pinned in a corner, trapped, and killed. If not by him, then definitely by the projectiles. So, for the longest time, I found this challenge to be impossible. I couldn't beat it without going through multiple continues. And knowing that, I set this challenge out to some of the not only world record holders, but best players in the community, and not even they were able to complete this challenge, which says a lot about the game itself, being ridiculously hard, and the boss. Looking back on it, this was an arcade game. It was meant to drive quarters away from little kids, and I can completely understand why the AI was programmed the way that it was. But you cannot tell me in good conscience that Nintendo or Acclaim or whoever it was that created this developed this game and this boss and this challenge knowing that the regular Joe Schmo in 1992 could complete it really any of these levels. Last I checked, I got through the boss at about six or seven lives, which barely qualifies for completing the novice level challenge, let alone the pro challenge. So, you can probably guess where I'm about to go with this, but before we get there, I want to show you a recent video attempt that I made on this challenge. Because I've been talking about it for several years, I think it's worth discussing more in detail than any of the recent videos I've put out here. So let's go ahead, I'm going to load up a video that I've done recently on this challenge attempt, and we're going to talk about what makes it so tough, if not borderline impossible here, and we're going to pinpoint it all down. So here we go. Okay, so let's skip all the BS and get right to Scarface. So right at this screen, level select is right, right, up, down, R, L, the shoulder buttons. Also, make sure you change the skill to easy. Make life as easy as you can on yourself, although that's not saying much. Go right down to Circuit 2 Scarface, and we are going to jump right into the action here. All right, and we're going to go right out of the entry room into the boss fight for Scarface. Now, you're going to see a few things right off the top. You're going to see some landmines right on the ground. Obviously, don't touch them or the challenge is immediately over. Now, Scarface is going to appear in the bottom right corner. And you got some turbo boots there. I would probably grab those immediately if you can. Now, again, as I've said before, a lot of people think that this challenge is immediately impossible because you can't damage the boss, or so it was thought. No, you can, and this video is going to prove that it can be done. You can kill this boss with just the normal gun, but you're going to see there's quite a few challenges here. So, 
biggest thing you got to worry about doing is taking out every single shield. I think there's like 16 shields. You got to take out at least 15, if not 16 of them. And obviously, you can't pick up any weapons that appear on the ground. One of the biggest things you got to worry about trying to do here is keeping your distance from the boss. But as you're going to see, it's virtually impossible as you get halfway into this fight here. Watch out for the projectiles. Try to keep him pinned in on a corner as you work the shields around this boss here. Now, we're doing a pretty good job right now, but as you're going to see, there is going to come a point where no matter how good you are, this is going to happen. You're going to get pinned in. And yeah, challenge is over, right? We already lost. Well, yeah, that's true. And I'm going to tell you right now, for the most part, I'm doing the best job that I absolutely can. But knowing that the challenge is already lost here, I'm going to purposely demonstrate a couple of things here as to why you get pinned in the corner and what happens when you get pinned in. So already we got a couple deaths, but I'm really not even trying that hard at this point, knowing that the challenge is over. So I'm going to continue working around and really... The, the main point of this video at this point is just to show that the boss can be killed with the regular gun right now. So we're going to continue working around and we're going to show you, we're going to try to get pinned in on a corner on purpose and we're going to show you, can we get out or are we really stuck there until he decides to have his way with us. Keep on shooting, shooting, shooting. We're working the bottom side right now and I've always found with this boss that it's extremely difficult to get him out of the bottom of the screen and work him up top. It can be done, but sometimes if he just doesn't want to cooperate, there's nothing you can really do about it. So we're working around. There's another nice little turbo boot. Go ahead and pick it up. Obviously right now it doesn't matter. And depending on RNG, it could be done, but as you can see, using this normal gun, by the way, here's another problem. The normal gun does not push him back right so we're in a corner right now what would happen in a normal playthrough you could see you're screwed right if this happens in a regular playthrough there's nothing you can do about it he could crush you or he could push back and kill you with projectiles this is why this challenge is impossible yes i said it this is an impossible challenge no matter how good you are and this is the big reason why once you work him down I don't care how good you are, he's going to decide if he wants to have his way with you, he's going to push you into a corner, he's going to chase you down, pin you down, and this is exactly why this is indeed an impossible challenge. You can work it as hard as you want, and oh by the way, you think this is ridiculous, wait until you see the second half of this boss fight here, wait till you get him down to the skeleton formation. Yeah, it gets even more crazy. So. For right now, there's not a whole lot else I can really talk about. So let's just go ahead and skip forward to the second part of this boss fight. Oh, I guess we could talk about this. So here we have the metal rotating orb, which doubles the attack power that you would get on the boss fight right now, right? Technically, this is not invalidating the challenge. You're still using the normal gun. So in the perfect world, if you pick one of these up, you might have a fighting chance with this thing right now. But unfortunately, the problem is that much like the turbo boots, it's completely random as to when you receive these power-ups here. You can't tell the game when you want to receive a specific power-up or item boost here. And that's another reason why this challenge is virtually impossible. So, we're going to go ahead and skip ahead to the second part of this boss fight, and we will talk more about it then. Alright, we come out of hyperdrive here, we're about to bash through, and there it is, there is proof, if you've been following along, that you can get through the first form of this boss without ever picking up the lobber and damaging the face, so it can be done, never said it was easy, obviously, as you can tell, I've already burned through continue, even though I'm not really trying right now. Alright, so let's talk about phase two here, if you are going to actually destroy yourself mentally and attempt this for real, by the way, don't. So this form has eight shields, and realistically, I believe you need to take out at least seven, if not all eight of the shields here, and just continue doing what you do. As far as, are there any real differences here besides how it looks graphically? Well, I mean, you're not going to see projectiles coming off quite as, you know, in, in, on mass, let's just say. You will have the two star projectiles that come at you. They're much quicker. They will track you, and they will bounce all over the place, so they're certainly a little bit tougher in that regard. Although if you pay attention here, I actually do, a, I think, a better job of dodging these projectiles in the second phase than I do in the first phase. So, if it were possible to keep the boss at bay with your regular gun and not have him chase you so relentlessly, this could, in theory, be done. But clearly you're going to see there are occasions where if the boss decides, you know what, screw this, screw you, I'm going to chase you down regardless, it doesn't really matter how good you are, like right about here, yeah. 
uh, it's extremely difficult, if not impossible, to keep him off of you. And that's been shown time and time again. I don't want to beat a dead horse anymore. But yeah, at this point, you've seen what it is. You know, one, one more little story I want to tell about this before I, I continue and get right to the end. I remember way back in the days before we started this channel here, I want to say around 2015, 16, 17, somewhere in there, there was another YouTuber out there who was just, you know, posting his collection of cards and he wanted to see if other people could get these challenges done, right? Kind of like I like to do nowadays. Well, what he did was he pulled a card out at random, as you're watching me try to tear through Scarface right now, and he said, okay, I'm going to pull a card out at random, and whatever card I pull, I want you guys to try to complete the challenges here, uh, pro challenge, whatever. And lo and behold, the, uh, the first card he pulled out was Super Smash TV. And I'm thinking, oh god, because I knew what that card was. Alright, I want to see who can beat the Super Smash TV pro challenge here. If you can do it, record a video, send it in to me. And obviously nobody ever sent him a video because he pulled out the toughest challenge arguably in the entire collection here. And that pretty much killed his uh, <laughs> killed his series right there. Yeah, so I knew immediately when I was uh, setting out to make this channel way back when, don't do Super Smash TV, first of all. I knew I was going to get to it eventually, but don't be uh, you know foolish enough to do something like that. And here we are getting pinned in a corner again. And oh, check that out. We did take out the second boss with just the regular gun. So yes, in theory... This challenge could be completed with proper RNG, but you're never going to get it, so don't try. This is where I would say challenge in the books, and technically it is, although it was never actually completed. So, I will just put the impossible logo up there, because it certainly is. I dare you to prove me wrong. You won't, but I certainly invite you to try. Take care.